you may have tried online dating to find the perfect partner, but have you ever thought about online dating to find the perfect job? Well, one program is trying to do just that. It's called Occupation Professor. So whether you're just graduating, maybe you're getting back into the workforce, maybe you're retiring and you want something to sort of get you through the next few years. Well, it's a program that says it can help you find the right career path. What works for you? Well, Occupation Professor founder Dan Whitenack is with me now. And, you know, this, Dan, welcome. It, it sort of sounds too good to be true, right? I mean, it's one of those things. It's like, how do you know what's right for me? But you say this is actually very scientific. First, how does it work? What's the psychology behind it? Yeah, think of it like you're going through a real estate search, like you're looking for a house online. So the first thing you have to do is you have to figure out what your abilities are. Like if you're going to buy a house, the first question you have to ask is, how much house can I afford? What's what size of a house or how much is the, uh, is the house going to cost? Yeah. So once you know your abilities, the next question is, what are your preferences? What do you want? Where do you want the house to be? How many bedrooms do you want? How many bathrooms mm -hmm. do you want? All that kind of stuff. The same thing is true about an occupation. The first thing you have to decide is, what are your abilities? What are you good at? What separates you from other people? And so once we know what your talents are, your abilities are, everything else is just based on preferences. So we basically have uh, an example here in the wall. We're, we're working this off camera, but it's, you answer all of these questions and you sort of have, it's like an algorithm. You have a way that once you get through all of these different questions, it shows you exactly what different jobs you could go for that would be right for you. Give me an example. Yeah, example. Let's say you're a really analytical person who's really detail-oriented. Well engineering kinds of jobs might be for you, information technology jobs might be for you. Let's say you're an artistic kind of a person, so all the artistic kinds of jobs would match up for you. Dan, I, coming up I'm going to talk to actually two people that have had this uh, help them in a different way. I'm curious to see what they have to say, but thanks so much for being with Thank us. You, Good Brian. to have you. Appreciate it.